What is going on, Legends? It's CH. All right, welcome back. And uh, heads up, I just got a new Blue Yeti microphone that I haven't really figured out the configuration yet. So if it's kind of echoey, or maybe it might be too loud when I uh, roll my mouse around or hit my keyboard, let me know. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. But anyways, all right, let's go on. So in this video, let's go ahead and create our root folder to our desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick, right click, new folder. We'll call this jQuery. Time to type, see if it's too loud. jQuery, just like that. And inside this, obviously, will be nothing. So let's go ahead and create our index file. And for those who don't know, our index file is the first page that the browser sees. It's pretty much your home page. So I'm going to go to my text editor. Again, I'm going to be using TextMate. Let's go ahead and pull up some, uh, punch in some HTML5 doc type. Standard operating procedure, nope, lowercase HTML. Let's go ahead and close this up really quick. HTML at the bottom, and I'm gonna go ahead, since I have TextMate, I have the color sync on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that, okay. Okay, basic HTML, what do we need? HTML, and let's uh, create a head. We'll close our head out. Should we give it a title? We'll give it a title, why not? Uh, jQuery. Becoming a legend at jQuery. Okay. Let's close out our title tag. And what are we missing? Body tags. I always like having my body just on the line of code right before my closing HTML tag. Body, let's look at that. Let's go ahead and save this. Save it to, okay, save it to index.html. Like I said, uh, for those who didn't know, our index.html page is pretty much our homepage. It's the first page a browser will see when you go to somebody's website. So save it as index.html, not PHP. And we'll save it. Did I save it to my folder? I saved it to my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and just slide it in, just like that. Okay, so be before we go on, uh, what is jQuery? I'm sure you guys have a maybe a, a somewhat understanding of it. You might know it's affiliated with JavaScript, and you're right. That's absolutely correct. Let's go ahead and Google it. Let's go to just play chess. Got my butt whipped. Chess.com, jQuery.com. Okay, so you're right. jQuery is a JavaScript library, but what does that mean? Well. What it means is it's pretty much an external file that we're gonna go ahead and put in our root folder that's gonna have a ton of code in it which is gonna save us a lot of time. If someone asked me, hey CH, what are the two best things about jQuery? I'd say, well, it saves me a ton of time to write code. And B, it's free. It's completely open source, JavaScript's open source, and it's 100% it's free. So what we're gonna do in the next video, let's go ahead and download the correct form of jQuery that we're looking for because there's two forms and we'll go ahead and talk about that in the next video. So uh, hopefully you guys just created the folder, have this correct code, just like right here. Actually, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go in the body, we'll say, what's up, village park. Save it, let's go ahead and right click it, let's open it up with a browser, browser of your choice, we'll go Safari. What's up, Village Park? Okay, so our browser is reading our root folder. Perfect. All right, guys, make sure you have this code. Next video, we'll go ahead and download jQuery. See you over there. Good luck.